Baylor football is undefeated and ranked 23rd nationally heading into their homecoming match against Texas Tech. But Coach Matt Rule and company are not finished. It's all about this week. Uh, we, we, didn't, we didn't work all year to be 5-0 and and be number 23 in the country. That, that's not the high point. If this is the high point, then we had a bad year. The Bears secured their first ranking since 2016 after a 31-12 victory on the road against Kansas State. Coming off an emotional Iowa State win, going to Manhattan, Kansas, um, taking on a tough, physical, rugged you know, veteran team, a lot of fifth-year seniors on that football team. and uh, It wasn't always perfect, but I thought our guys weathered the storm, hung in there, and most importantly, they played as a team. Baylor will have to again match that energy as this week's Texas Tech team comes in high on momentum. New coaching staff coming around, coming together, have a lot of veterans on defense, and it clicked for them this past Saturday. And They beat a really good Oklahoma State team, and uh, we'll have one heck of a challenge. The Red Raiders' main threat is a passing attack that averages over 300 yards per game. It's tempo, it's get the ball out of your hand, it's, it's you know, wear you down and take shots, run the football. So we'll, um, we'll, we'll really have to take another step defensively to be able to hang in with it. With a 3 o'clock homecoming kickoff, the top 25 Bears are prepared to play in a rowdy McLean Stadium. It should be a raucous, raucous environment because trying to play that, trying, trying to play in other raucous environments, that's why, that's, that's why there's an advantage to being at home. And so I hope that this is, I hope that people don't just come. Or how about this? I hope whoever comes is loud and respectful, yet really rowdy. For Larry at TV News, I'm Drake Toll.